Hi everyone, hope you're all well. It's Simba I titled today. I'm back with a very exciting and very in video at the moment. I'm saying that because a beautiful Jacqueline Hill here on YouTube created her own makeup tag. It's called the Ride or Die makeup tag. And basically what you have to do is go through your collection and find out one holy grail. That product, if someone came now to you and said you can only have one foundation, one mascara, one lipstick, which one would it be? That's what we're going to do today. I have to say, I've seen this video on Tati's channel. She was uh, Jacqueline Tagda. And I can't believe I missed Jacqueline's video, but obviously I caught up and seen all of them now. And I had to sit down and do it myself. I have been not... I, no one nominated me, alright, to do this video, but they both said, kindly said in their video, that we all are welcome to do it. And because I love them so much, I'm going to say them two nominated me, alright? Let's get straight into the video and I'm going to start with primer. And you're going to be like, Alex, you are already cheating. But I'm not. And you're going to see what... I had to show them this both to you because I'm falling more and more in love with the Guerlain Law. This is one of those items that I've seen in Tati's WTF and I was like, I could see her face changing during the video and I was like, I need that in my life. So for my birthday, I had this on my list and I had to get it. Guerlain Law is one of those products and Guerlain in general is a very fancy brand, a very expensive brand. It's one of those things that... If you're just a normal person like me, you can't just go in and the shop and afford buying makeup. You know, it's a treat. But I've, I've been using it more and more lately and I don't know what's with it, but I love it. I know a lot of you asked me in the past, is it worth Alex? Is it worth the price tag? And I said it's worth it, but I don't know if I'll recommend you guys buying it as it's so expensive, but I fall in love with him more and more every single day. And now for one of those products, guys, that... I have to say, this is my favourite now for years, I think since it ever came out, I've been watching YouTube from like 2009, and the professional from Benefit stayed in my collection ever, ever, you know, ever since. I finished them before, you've seen them in my empties and so on, I have enlarged pores in uh, my nose area, cheeks and forehead, and I really need this product, so if I had to choose just one, I would go with this one, but... I am really falling in love with this one. For the foundation, I chose one. And I have to say this was quite an easy choice for me because I just looked at all my foundations and let me tell you, foundations, BBCCs, whatever, I have a lot of them. I have low end, high end, whatever. But this is that one that never, is never away from my collection. If it's finished, I go to the shop and buy another one. Is the Rimmel Wake Me Up, is a radiant one. And what I've been doing lately, I thought I'll quickly tell you, is add some of this liquid highlighter into it and make it pop even more. We got a few nice days in London, um, not in London, sorry, in England lately. We actually had some sun and it's just, I just love this combination and this has to be my hands down favourite foundation through the years. It has like a medium coverage, but you can definitely build it up. For concealer, again, I had I struggled to to choose one because I love concealer. I I think if I could choose three products, I would choose no. Let's say four. I would choose brows, concealer, lipstick, and bronzer because I'm obsessed with them. And concealer, as I said, is one of my top four items. And it was hard because I really want to choose the Urban Decay one. But I looked in my collection. I thought, how many bottles of the Urban Decay do you have? One. Okay, how many of these did you use? And even though you have the Urban Decay, you still went back to buy. Well, is the Eraser Eye from Maybelline, the anti-age eraser. I don't know what's the deal with this, but it brightens, it covers, it has really high coverage, and it's amazing. With a beauty blender, it just, it's just amazing. I don't have any powders, sadly, because even though I use and I have loose powders and all sorts, I really want to try the Laura Mercier one. I really would love to try Le Mer, so that's going to be on my uh, list because Tati raves about it. But I can't show you one because I don't have a holy grail, so I'm going to move to bronzer. And yet again, I have two products. One that it's like a very well-known and high product and something that I've never seen in anyone's video before that but I rave about. I'm going to start with this one, the Hula from Benefit. It's great for contouring and bronzing. It's great on many skin tones. It has a great consistency and I'm going to stop about it because you guys probably heard a lot about it. HR, Helena Rubinstein, I believe it's a Russian high-end company. I haven't heard anyone talking about this and this is one of the best bronzers I have ever used in my life. It's really buttery. It has a really weird undertone because it's cold but in the same time it can be warm so you can use it a bit to contour but to bronze your face you can use it on your body it's just so amazing i would really recommend if you guys see this to give it a try because even though it's not hyped it deserves some hype right 
for blush again I love blushes and I have so many and it was really hard to just go down to one because I really liked my matte blushes but then I like like rocketeur and I like so many blushes but if I had to just choose one I decided that sunny surprise from MAC and it's a um, beauty powder would be the one I would choose this one actually uh, reminds me a bit of Melba and it's a beautiful peachy pink undertone blush. It's really beautiful, it's matte. I think it goes all year round and again, it would suit a lot of different skin tones. Okay, and now for highlight, you guys are gonna be extremely surprised. And I'm saying that because you guys haven't even seen me hauling this, but I'm sure you've seen Jacqueline Hill raving about it. You've seen Nick tutorials. You've seen a lot of people already raving about this sleek palette. And let me tell you guys, the rave is real and it's it's worth the hype. I've, I have to say, choose one. I would choose this peach one here. They all blend beautifully they just give you a beautiful sheen to your face i have they have a cream they have free powder highlights and they're just amazing i can't wait to talk to you more about it in a future video but for now this would have to be if someone told me now you can only choose one i would choose this one and run away with it no one talked about brows so far from the people that I watched them doing the tag but for me brows are really important and that's because i don't have naturally full eyebrows so, I had to go through my collection, and even though I've been raving about the Soap and Glory pencil, you know, the double-ended one with the gel, and I love it, still love it a bit, and I have a lot of eyebrow products that I love, I thought, which one made it through your collection for years, and you just love using? And I'll have to say, by the way, everything I'm showing, it's on my face today. When I applied my eyebrows today, I remembered how much I love this product. Mine is smashed, by the way. Because I try to depot it because I only wear the dark brown from this one. It's the dark brown but it has a really cool grey undertone. And I really, really love it. It's HD brows and I re really, really recommend them guys. You should give them a try. They're extremely pigmented. They blend nicely. And by the way, I use the other three as eyeshadows because they work brilliant for that as well. Let's move on to eyes. And again, they are like, you have to choose your favourite palette. And I was like, whoa, I have like 40 palettes. That's hard because I love colours from each and every palette I have. But if I would have to choose one, it would have to be the Lorac Pro. We can't get Lorac in uh, UK and that's... Ugh. I got this in a swap and I'm ever so thankful for it because this has to be hands down. That palette that if I had to choose one, as you can see I panned one, this would be it. It has warm tones, it has some glitters, it has transition colours. The only thing that's missing for me is an orange because I really, really love orange colours. But if I had to choose just one and go on with it, it would hands down be the Lorac Pro. To keep it with the eyes, I have three more items. And I'm going to show you these. Again, I haven't seen anyone showing a, a uh, eyeliner. And I was one of those people that used to wear black eyeliner in their waterline and make my eyes, you know, smaller and very smoky. But ever since the power of makeup came to me and I've seen so many brilliant YouTubers talking about this I chose to put in my waterline usually white or cream don't get me wrong I'm still using a lot of different colors and co coppers and black sometimes but I would re really recommend you having a white and a cream um, eye pencil and I have the Colorish uh, Le Col from L'Oreal and I have the scandalized waterproof Col Kajal from Rimmel London. This one is in nude and this one is immaculate snow. I love them so much. I've had quite a few different uh, eye pencils like this and these two went through, you know, the time and testing and like crying and things and they stay put. They don't smudge really good. For mascara, again, if you know me and you've been following me for a while, I used to rave about Benefit The Real, but not on its own, combined with... Um, the other one, what was it? From Max Factor, like the falsies one. Ever since I got this sample, is Bobbi Brown Eye Opening Mascara. I started it like a month ago and it's still going strong and I have to say, I immediately fell in love with it. I've seen positive and negative things about this, but for me, this has to be one of the most amazing mascaras I ever used and that's a huge statement coming from me, a person that doesn't wear falsies too often. So that's why I'm not going to share any falsies with you, but if you can get a, your hands on this, it gives an amazing volume and it gives length and it doesn't clump. It's just so, so good. And now we're going to move to lips and here it's again so hard because if you love lips, 
you can't just choose one product but what um, they done in their videos they chose a gloss a uh, lipstick and a liquid lipstick so i'm going to show you a gloss and it's not actually a gloss that you would think it's from soap and glory and it's sexy mother pucker extreme plump i like to apply this on my face every single time before i apply my makeup it plumps my lips it hydrates them and gets them ready for a matte lip for a lipstick i had to choose a mac one and I love MAC lipsticks. They're a bit pricey, the matte ones are a bit dry, and you know, there are pros and cons about it, but kind of sexy, made it through the time, and it's one of those perfect, perfect nudes for me that has a bit of orange undertone that when I'm in doubt with what item to purchase, or not, sorry, not to purchase, to put on my lips or something that, I have an eye makeup that I'm not sure this is the one I go for. For liquid lips, I have two items. I have the one that I'm wearing on my lips now, and yet again, an item that you haven't even seen hold yet is the NYX Liquid Suede. This one is in the color Soft Spoken. I'm gonna give you a hand swatch as well. The pigmentation and, guys, the just the comfort of this lip pencil, lip pencil. Goodness gracious, I'm losing it. This is how it looks. This liquid lipstick is amazing. It's really comfortable on your lips. It doesn't dry, so it does transfer, but just beautiful formula, and I can't wait to purchase more, and I can't wait to talk about it in a future video. And the other one, again, if you follow me, a couple of videos ago when I've done a Sammy Dress and Rose Girl haul, I showed you this Pop Feel lipsticks. And a lot of you guys told me that, you know, you've had them and you weren't sure. I've seen a lot of reviews about them, and I have to say, I have other colors and I'm not happy with them. But this specific color, in number 12 is like a grey she very 90s colour. It's amazing, it lasted on my lips 10 hours. I ate, I done all sorts of things and it doesn't transfer, it didn't dry my lips, it just dries so beautifully, it has a grey undertone, it gives you really white teeth, I can't rave enough about this one. The other ones, as I said, some of them are really patchy, not as happy, but this specific one, I don't know if it's just the formula in this one, I was just lucky with it, it's gorgeous. And, I chose one last product to share with you that again not many people spoke about and it's a lip pencil. Ever since I discovered lip pencils for me they're just godsend because one I have vitiligo so I have some depigmentation in my mouth area and my lips look a bit weird on the top so I have to use them but plus they make your lipstick you know last longer and just they make things better trust me but if I would have to choose one from my collection and everything else had to go I would have to go with Rimmel East End Snob. It's a beautiful dusty pink rose color and I don't know it's just beautiful formulation. It's really creamy. I love my MAC ones. I love Essence for lip liners. They're amazing but if I had to choose just one this would be it. And now everyone showed a fragrance as well so I'm going to share one with you. I used to be a perfume hoarder. I have so many perfumes and I just love so many. I love like Miss Dior, I love Chanel Mademoiselle. But ever since I discovered this exact fragrance, nothing been the same. It's Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf. It's the original pink and black bow one. It just, it just smells beautiful. And I have to say every single time I'm wearing this out, someone will compliment me on the fragrance. Someone will ask me what I'm wearing and it's, it just lasts on my skin. It goes well with my pH. It didn't stain my clothes. It's just amazing. Whew, now we can breathe. You guys know I don't cut, so I had to go through all this talking, talking, talking. This was everything I had to share with you for uh, for today, guys. I have to say I want to uh, just tag a few lovelies now. I'm going to tag a lot more of you down in the description. But just to mention a few, I would love to tag Alexandra Potora. Alexandra, if you're watching this, I would love to see what are your holy grails and your favorite products. If you guys don't know Alexandra, she's an amazing, empowering woman, a boss person and a boss woman, not person. And you have to check her channel out. Literally, she does so many amazing videos and not just empowering ones, but beauty hacks and all sorts as well. I would love to see Sam doing this, Sam Sherman. I'm sure you guys know uh, her already. I've been starting to talk to her lately and I'm so blessed that she replied to me. She's a very big YouTuber, guys. So if you guys don't know her, but I'm sure you do, but if you don't, please check her out because she has an amazing, amazing beauty channel. and. Beside that, she has an amazing vlog channel. She does vlogs with her family and they're really great. I love them to bits and I can't wait for her to come to England again because I would love to meet her in person. So Sam, I would love if you could do this video. Who else? Lil Miss Style Guru, Vinny. If you guys don't know Vinny again, an amazing person. 
please do this tag and share with us your favorite and your holy grails. Sophie Goodwin, Sophie, my lovely friend here on YouTube, please do this tag. I'm going to ta uh, tag Leah. I'm going to tag Michelle. I'm going to uh, Kelly Michelle. I'm going to tag a lot of you, all right? So please check the down bar. And if you're not tagged, please, please let me know. And I'm going to add your name if you want to do it. And even if you don't, please do it because it's such an amazing video and such a great I don't know, it's a great feeling that you can put everything in a makeup bag and be like, these are my favourites. That was everything I had to say for today. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed filming it. Until next time, please don't forget, as always, to stay beautiful inside and out. And every down links, every links will be down below for everything you need to know. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing, amazing day. Bye, guys.